going to run you through some of the improvements we've made in this latest version of Smart Designer Pro, Smart Designer Pro 2018. This new version is fully compatible with CorelDRAW X8, CorelDRAW 2017, and CorelDRAW 2018. The software is also compatible with Windows 7, Windows 8.1, and Windows 10. Now one of the first changes you're going to see here is at the top of the Smart Designer Pro Command Center Docker, you're going to see new content available. Click to download. If you're a subscriber to our Campus Apparel Marketing System, the software will automatically prompt you to download and install the monthly templates. So you can see all my templates here, what's installed, what's not installed. It allows you to easily download the monthly templates and sales flyers. One major change we've made is there's no longer a need for a dedicated property editor. Any design you've ever created in CorelDRAW can be opened in CorelDRAW and edited interactively. Just simply go over here to the template section, click on edit text, highlight the text, and you can change the text interactively. Also, if you want to swap out the clip art, you can still go down to the clip art section, change art, highlight the text you want to change, there's a preview right here. Click on load search, type in a search key, and swap out the artwork from any of your digital art solutions art volumes. We've made significant improvements to the Smart Designer Pro user interface. You'll notice if you go to the Command Center Docker, there's a little left arrow here. Click on that. This is called Quick Clips. This is a very easy way to access common folders on your hard drive. You can also keyword search. If you want to swap out an image in a document, you can simply select it and then double click on it. And this feature also supports drag and drop. You'll also notice there's a recent files section, so you can go over here and drag and drop recent files into your document. And there's also what we call the Virtual Command Center Docker. If I click on the Docker link right here, I can access any of the features in the Command Center Docker while still leaving the Quick Clips section open. We've also added a search function to the Command Center Docker. If you want to locate a feature, you can go to the top of the Command Center Docker, type in what you're looking for. I'll just type in Modify, hit Enter. Here's my Modify Colors function. Just expand that feature. Here's all the colors in the design. I'm just going to click on the colors I want to keep in the design here. Hit Reduce. There's my reduction. I want to swap out a color here. Simply click on it. Hit Swap Colors. Pick your new color. And it's that easy to change colors in the design. We've added some important enhancements to the virtual samples functions. First of all, we've added over 600 new product blanks. These are product blanks from our Smart Concepts 2 Photo and Vector Edition. They're now included with the software. There's photo product blanks here, as well as line illustrations that we can use to create virtual samples. So I'll go down here and we'll go into Outerware. Here's a virtual sample here we can generate. Also, you can add your own product blanks. So if I go to my user categories, I can set up my folders. I can add artwork easily to that folder. For instance, I can add a product, set up a printable area for that, and we can dynamically generate a virtual sample for that product. Now, one of the new ways we can do that is by utilizing what we call Smart Capture. If I go down here to Clip Art and Graphics, select Smart Capture, opens a little capture window. I can go to any website, click on Capture, Marquee Select around the perimeter of the graphic. Just go ahead and capture that real quick. And then what I can do is and set up an imprintable area for that. So if I go back to the Virtual Samples feature, go down here, there's a little button right here. It says Draw Product Placement Rectangle. This is your imageable area, so we'll just place that right here. And then what I can do is just simply drag and drop to add this product into my library. Once you've added the product blank, you can easily create a virtual sample. Just double click on the item that you want to place the artwork onto. It'll automatically place that on there. You can still go in here and select it, manipulate it, make it bigger, smaller, reposition it on the garment. To generate your proposal page, click on Proposal Pages. You can add the artwork. Select your proposal style. Choose any options you want. We now have drop shadows. You can add a watermark. And then to generate your proposal page, you're simply going to click on Create Proposal Sheet. One of the things that you'll notice in the new version, in addition to creating the proposal sheet, it's also going to list out your colors and any materials in your proposal.
Another improvement we've made to the software user interface is the addition of expanders. This reduces the need for a docker. So for instance, if I wanted to quickly resize this particular image here, I can go down here to sizing and arranging. There's a new expander for preset sizes. I can pick a category, a size, simply click on apply. Another expander, if I go down here to gang, step and repeat, that's no longer a docker, it's an expander. If you want to gang this up for multiples, simply click on apply. A new feature we've added is the Capture Manager. You can edit an image after you screen capture it, so it's quite easy to do that interactively. You simply highlight the image. You can change the colors in the image. I'm going to go ahead and make the eyes and the dog here kind of pink right here. We can do that. We can go ahead and change brightness, contrast, do all that kind of stuff interactively and live. It's super quick and easy to do that. I can split color channels, so if I want to easily convert this image into a true black and white image, I can do that by splitting the color channels. When I want to bring this image back into Corel Draw, I just simply click on Save to Corel. Another new feature we've added is the halftoner. I can easily convert vector images, photos, or bitmaps into a halftone pattern that can be screen printed, printed, laser engraved, or converted into a vinyl graphic. So I'm just going to go over here and click on Convert to Halftones. The halftone feature will pop up on my screen. I want to change the brightness to get rid of that background so we can do that interactively. I can also go over here and change my dot size, make bigger dots, smaller dots. I can go over here if I choose to, change my contrast level. And so I can get this image dialed in exactly the way I want to get it. And everything is live and interactive. So if I make a change over here, you're going to see it instantly on the screen. To take this image and save it back to CorelDRAW, all I need to do is click on Save. This is a vector image, and now I can set it up for output. We've also added a very powerful Word Cloud feature. So you can open or import a text file. You can also key in the words manually. The words at the top will have a higher priority, so they'll be larger in your Word Cloud. There's also an ability to exclude common words like those and ofs and twos. You have a variety of options, including the absolute size of the graphic, the difference in font size as well. You, you can make this a single color for laser engraving or vinyl cutting, or you can set it up as a multicolor design. Once you get your Word Cloud set up to bring it back into CorelDRAW, you just click on Save. It comes in as a high resolution image with the transparent background, and that's how you create a Word Cloud. We've also added a new font book creator function. You can create a font book from fonts on your system. You can do all of your fonts, just your DAS fonts, monogram fonts, all your rhinestone fonts. You can just simply select a list of fonts, pick the fonts you want to use in your font booklet. To create the booklet, you just click on Create. Once the booklet layout is created, you can simply go over here to File, Save to CorelDRAW, save the font book right back to CorelDRAW publish it as a PDF and you have a very useful tool for creating font books for your customers or for your art department. We've overhauled the entire effects sections. One of the things that we've done is we've taken the live envelopes feature and made that an expander as a dedicated feature. So if I want to go ahead and interactively edit an envelope, I can do that. I can do both the top and the bottom at the same time or do them independently. I can kick the corner handles out here. All of the outline effects are completely new. So if I go over to Outline Effects now, you'll notice two different sections. One is for printing effects, and so we can instantly apply a print effect. But also we have a new way of applying cut effects for vinyl cutting. So if I go over here to Cut Effects, I can click on the option that I want. I can select a shadow or an inline color. I can also select a color to knock out so the substrate color comes through. So in this case, I'm going to knock out the inline. To create the effect, I'm just going to hit on Apply. It's automatically going to set the effect up. These are all set up in layers. Here's a layer. If I want to make this all one color, I can just select the whole thing, make it all a single color. And then we've also added the ability to add a glitter vinyl effect to any object whatsoever. So I'll just go over here and go to Palette Aware Glitter Fill to apply a glitter vinyl effect. We've completely rebuilt the screen printing functions. You'll notice there's a dedicated area now for color separations. I can click on color separations. Here's all the functionality for flash bases. We've redesigned that whole area. Um, also, halftones. 
that's all been redesigned. I can globally apply a halftone postscript setting for printing halftones to any selected color. There's presets, so I can select a preset that apply the right halftone size and angle to the selected color globally. Bear in mind, you do need to have a PostScript compatible laser printer driver or PostScript RIP in order to output halftones. We've also added a new section for separate colors. This will create an on-screen separation. Just click on the colors that you want to separate, click on apply, and it will automatically create a color separation as a multi-page document. One of the advantages of doing this is that I can go in and individually trap colors manually just by selecting an object. I can't do that through the traditional CorelDRAW print separations function. So the original graphic is on page one, page two, here's your half tones right here, page three, and page four. To add separation marks, all I need to do is go to the Command Center Docker, click on separation marks, Here's all my options for my separation marks. Just simply click on separation marks, input marks into the page, and I'm ready to print out my color separations. We've added a very powerful spreadsheet program as well as a word processing program. So you can work with text and copy without having to invest in another word processing or spreadsheet program. It's a great feature for formatting text for player names and numbers. You can use it to format paragraph text. This is a great addition to the Smart Designer Pro feature set. Smart Designer Pro now includes its own PDF reader, and one thing you'll notice right away is I can have the reader in front of the CorelDRAW workspace so I can read through a manual or a training document without having to minimize it to view the CorelDRAW workspace. So it's a great way to, to practice alongside a project using the actual instructions from within the manual. You'll notice there's bookmarks here, there's thumbnail previews, so if you want to skip ahead to a section, you can do that. It supports two-page spread. Also, there's links to your folders as well as common tip sheets and catalogs from your digital art solutions collection. So it's an, a great way to open up a digital catalog of one of your DAS collections. We've also recorded 28 brand new video tutorials in Smart Designer Pro, and we will be focusing on this new version in our weekly webcast series. I've walked you through some of the highlights, but this is just a partial list of the over 40 new features we've added to Smart Designer Pro. So this is an evolutionary step in our industry-leading CorelDRAW add-on software.